welcome back. Um, yeah, we've been taking our tour of many different castles. Today, let's continue playing 10 minute games. I'm thinking I'll try left side Anaguma, which is something I usually don't do. So we'll see how it goes. Should be fun. I just. I don't know, I have this habit of always playing Central Foul Rook, or always playing Third Foul Rook, and always doing the Mino Castle, and it works, but I'd rather have some fun while we're 1Q than just keep trying to grind, so we're going to tour the castles and see where we end up. Good luck. That's noisy, let me turn it down a bit. All right. This is how we get left side on Aguma, right? All right, we put this here. And we bring the king over here or something. And just push the king and... I don't know. Let's push this. Seems fun. All right, tuck the king in over here. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Everything's going according to plan. Um, there we go. Badger in the hole. All right. There's just one weakness, and that's that... Well, one thing, I don't know how to attack. Um, two, I haven't actually completed the castle, so let's complete it. Um, so I could bring this gold diagonally up, I've been told. It doesn't have to go on the back row. So I, I guess we'll try this. I don't know. Uh, that knight looks kind of scary, so let's do this, I guess. I have no idea what I'm doing, and we're probably going to get schooled for this. But hey, um... It was fun to try. Uh, okay. So our silver's not doing very much right now. Um, hmm. Let's use it somehow. Uh, oh, normally you try against Swinging Rook. Okay, well... You know, you learn something every game. <laughs> and today we learned that you, normally you would try this against Swinging Rook. Uh, because basically what I've done is castle right into the opponent's attack. Um, which is great theater, but perhaps not a great strategy. Um... Right. Amazingly, our opponent is eager to exchange things, which is very surprising. Um, very, very surprising. Okay, yeah, let's exchange things. Sure. Opponent is building Yagra. Um. Oh, uh, okay. You say so. Um. Possibly everything about my plan is flawed because I don't play this castle ever. Um, but this looks fun. I just don't understand it. Um, okay, we'll stick this back here.
And then we'll use the silver, the knight, all the pieces to do this attack. Not How bad could it be? How bad could this attack possibly be? And look, our bishop's all lined up for it. Um, I don't know, is this bad? <laughs> This looks fun. Can I stick a pawn here? Is this where a pawn goes? I don't know. It looks like a place for a pawn. This looks like a place for a knight. And then another pawn. And then we take a pawn. Alright. Opponent doesn't want us just taking everything. I guess I could just take a gold. I have to settle for a gold. Um, oh, I'm out of knights. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, hmm. It'd be nice to have another attacking piece right about now. <sighs> so... Um... Here, take another pawn. All right. Um, I offer some more exchanges, I guess. I want your bishop. That's really what I'm trying to target back there is that bishop. And I don't know what you're going to do with a billion pawns, but um, you seem to like pawns, so take a pawn. I mean, I'm out of pawns, which is bad, but um, I don't know how bad it is. Oh, alright, so they're going to attack my bishop. Um... Hmm. All right. I'm trying to get them to like place a knight on 5-4 so that after I sack the bishop I'll at least get a knight. Because it could be fun to attack with a knight. Oh, maybe I should have just dropped back and hit this pawn over here. But I think they would have blocked my bishop. Oh. Hey, free pawn. No consequences. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong from snatching a pawn? I don't know. Um, oh. Alright, fine. We'll take this. You convinced me. Now we got a pawn in hand again. Um, I want to put a pawn here. Rook takes silver drop. They move the rook. We drop a gold. Yeah, this looks like the right thing to do. I mean, yeah, I should be a bit concerned, because I am under heavy fire. I should care, at least the slightest amount. But hey, I get to attack, so where's the problem? This is fine. Uh, maybe it's not fine. Um, all right. 
I'm out of pieces. I've sacrificed all my pieces. I need more. Oh, the bishop's protecting this pawn. Um, I'm not close enough. I am not close enough. Okay, I could take this. Bishop takes, I take the silver. I hit the rook. That's fun, right? It looks fun. It's just a rook. What I'm really trying to do is promote my rook if I can. And I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I am damn sure trying. Alright, they take their... Um, oh, right. I can only take one piece at a time. I guess we'll take this one. I mean, I'm not using the rook if there's pawns in the way, so they can just take my rook and I'll try to win their king. That looks like a fair trade, a rook for a king. Uh, but no, really, I, I'm trapping their rook, too. Um, finally, they slow down. Yeah, but they still take my piece. I'm just annoyed that I'm behind two minutes. To, so they've got five and a half. I've got three and a half. So I've started playing a bit impatiently. Um, but that's kind of my style anyway. Uh, yeah. So in this situation, we're kind of forced to take this somehow. I mean, this is a disaster. It was the most obvious... Yeah, I should have taken here before sacking the rook. Um, wait, is that checkmate? How can this be checkmate? I mean, checkmate's generally bad. You don't want to lose the game. Um, Alright. Oh, alright. So that's, that's a uh, mate threat. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Uh, how do we counter this? We just checkmate Sounds the funny. opponent. That's all there is to it, right? If you checkmate, you can't be checkmated. <laughs> Alright, no, our king could retreat back to where the knight's at. I've got time. This is fine. What's the worst that could happen? No. Oh, my king retreats back and then they checkmate me by just pushing again. That's inconvenient. Um, hmm. So if I take lance takes, I drop. Whatever. It's not going to get better than this. Oh. Okay. So I can use my knight? This is strange. There's not a whole lot of squares to run to. Um, That's a good observation on their part. Knight takes silver to... Yes, I still have a free move. This is fine. Nifu. Free rook. Alright. No consequences. Um, There's probably a consequence somewhere, but we don't see it yet. And they said Nifun, so... I felt like moving. Um... Really, I'm trying to figure a way for my king to escape this. Um, it's going to take a move to run. I don't know why they did this knight drop. My king should have started running, but I want all their knights. I want my king to be able to run through 3-3 three, three here. So as long as they'll keep dropping knights, I'll keep dropping knights. 
eventually they'll let my king run out through 3-3. Three, three. Um, but if they don't let me run, it's kind of hard to... I mean, I could lift this gold up. How bad could that be? I don't know. Um... But since I don't have checkmate, I have to resort to stuff like this. I could pawn drop on the bishop's head if they give me a free turn. Then they bring back the bishop, or they sack for a gold. But either way, I have some idea of where they're going. Also, I could, well, again, they need to give me a tempo for me to do anything here. Oh, 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 oh. that's not good. Um, <laughs> that's not at all how I read this out. Okay, my king needs to run. Assuming I even get a chance to run. No, I should have brought this gold up. I had no time to think, and it shows that I'm not thinking. I'm trying to empty a space for my king to run to, but this might not have been the right way to do it. Or maybe this is brilliant somehow, accidentally. I'm just concerned once they take and promote, then they take this pawn, and it's very hard for me to run. Um... So I'm facing Hishi here. Yeah, if it run, if it causes him to run out of time, it might accidentally somehow be brilliant. Um, it is a bit tricky, but my king is like super surrounded, so I am catching up on time. But yeah, they need to surround my king now, which I think they just take my pawn, and I think I'm surrounded. But. Um, maybe I've misread this. I could lift up this gold to try to create another escape hatch, but I don't think that works. No, then they just drop a rook on the back rank and I'm screwed. So, oh, well, that's not a surrounding move. Oh, I know it is. It is. I have to take. I cannot take. Um, hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, hmm. I have to take, and I cannot take, and I have no gold to drop. Eep, boom. And they threaten night Wait. This is not good. This is sub-ideal. Um, okay. Uh, I just don't know. Uh, I'm definitely grasping here. Um, 30秒. Somehow I kept phantoming that I had an extra rook in hand. And I do not have an extra rook in hand. Hmm. 
Here's the trick move. Maybe I needed to sack Rook takes silver, but maybe I still have that in... Oh! Mate in one. Did not see that. Alright. Thanks for the game. Yeah, let's play another game. Yeah, like I said, I don't usually play this, and like you said, uh, well, the lesson is don't... Alright, good luck. The lesson, apparently, is don't play Left Mino against Static Rook. Or don't play Anaguma against Static Rook, apparently, is the lesson. So, are they playing Static Rook? Or don't play Left Mino, whatever. Yeah, so we're just going to play Third Foul Rook. It'll be fun. I'll take a break from what we did last game, which was complete madness. And this might be less complete madness and perhaps a little bit more sanity. Um... So, let's push this for the walls. Right, get the king out of here. Maybe we play right side on Aguma. There's a thought. Who would see that coming? Alright, so. Let's take this. Good old third foul rook. Yeah, so I've played third foul rook a lot. Um, I just didn't want to grind my way up to one down because that's no fun. So we're gonna just keep touring all the castles. All right, here we go into the corner. That's safe, right? We're going to invent some way to make this safe, damn it. Alright. There we go. Hey, we got a unique avatar. It was worth it. <laughs> um, Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know exactly what kind of trouble I'm getting myself in by doing all this. Um, in terms of just how this game's gonna play. Oh, wow, Bishop Check is playable. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. Uh, I've not even finished castling and I already want to do this Bishop Check. But I should just complete the castle, you know? It's good fun. All right, let's do the check. Um, maybe I missed an opportunity. Maybe earlier it was really powerful to do that. I have no understanding of this. Um, yeah. The thing that made the check appealing earlier was that this king was not able to get into the corner. But now here, I think as long as I just keep exchanging pieces, I should be able to attack somehow. I don't know how to attack. Um, this looks to me as reasonable as anything else. There's all, there's more than one way to activate the silver. Okay, what in the world? 
Uh, I'm so confused. Ah, I seem to have invited this attack. This makes more sense now to me why they did that. Alright. So, fine. It's okay. I guess that's the weakness of bringing the silver to the left. Now we know. Then we can spend the next 15 minutes suffering. Alright, uh, bishop move. That's kind of cool. So this is... I'm now targeting this pawn kind of accidentally. Um, I'm not sure they intended to divert my rook to strike this with the lance, but here we are. Yeah, that's clever. Uh, let's use the lance. So, let's use the rook. And then if they hit my rook, I can put a pawn in front somewhere. Oh, okay, that makes sense in some way. Um... They hit a silver. I can get a free tempo here. Um, they have nothing in hand. They cannot stop me from attacking. So I'm just going to promote my rook. Somehow I thought they had more than a lance in hand. It could just stop me from promoting the rook, but... Yeah, they're out of stuff in hand. So this severely limits their options. Um, I'll just keep taking stuff. Sure, that's a free thing. Yeah. They have a pawn now. Alright. Um... I'll just keep taking their stuff, I guess. Oh, that makes sense. Kind of. Maybe a rook exchange is better than letting them take the bishop. I don't know. All right, so then we're going to promote our rook. We're gonna, the way we're going to promote the rook is by getting the knight out of the way there. Um, yeah, let's save the bishop, I guess. Their back rank looks severely weak. 
uh, but I don't want to block my rook by sticking it in the corner. So I guess we'll play the rook to 1-8 and then try to hack down everything in the way here. The rook is such a heavy attacking piece. Is there any lighter way I can start this attack? We've got a knight and a rook in hand. Knight's not super light. But, well, no, knight, knight's decently light. Uh, I kind of want to drop it and then take this pawn with the knight. But then the knight has nowhere to go, really. Uh, on the other hand, I mean, well, no, they could defend this with the silver and the gold put together. Oh. Oh, that's heavy. Why would they do that? I guess they're concerned about me promoting my rook. Um, all right, so this is the other plan, is that we take the pawn and just attack the king directly. Yeah, Anaguma is a strong castle, in case that is not abundantly clear yet. Um, Alright, free pawn. Hope you like free pawns. There's definitely nothing wrong that's going to ha Okay, they took it. Alright, so uh, let's check. I mean, they kind of had to take it, but still... Um, yeah, let's take one of these. Anaguma's just too strong. Alright, uh, let's take this way. Yeah, Anaguma is a monster of a castle. Um, Go right, from. So... Hmm. Didn't actually expect that. Alright. You get my bishop. That's fine. What are you going to do with the bishop anyway? Um... I mean, I could promote my other rook, too, if I need another attacking piece, um, but I think I'm fine. Oh, that's not mate. Just kidding. I was just considering that move and didn't actually play it. Um, hmm... Um. Mm -mm. Thanks for the game. Alright, let's play another game. That was exciting.
Good luck. All right, so they say Ishida style, eh? Um, so we'll see where that puts us. Um, yep, there it is. There it is, the third file, Rook. All right, here we go. YOLO. We are in unexplored territory. All right. Um, yeah, this looks exciting. Um, all right, so what do we do now? I don't know, man. I'm just playing the moves. Um, hmm. Well, we'll stick with the pattern, although this is a bit ridiculous. Um, oh, they are determined to complete the Ishida formation. That makes sense. But have they prepared for this? Maybe. So, here we go, badger in the hole, <laughs> boom, there it is, all right, well, that was fun, um, that was fun for a minute, and is going to get less fun as this game progresses. Let's try to enjoy it. Hmm. Wait a second. What's going on here? Oh, what's going on here? This don't look right. This don't look right. Here we go. YOLO. <laughs> ah, this looks too fun. Is it right? I'm not sure. Probably not. But they didn't finish their castle, so I feel like doing something fun. Um, yeah, here we go. This is going to end super great. Castles are overrated. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, well, we'll see in a minute just how bad my strategy is. Um, Let's try to get these pieces next to the king before disaster strikes. Um, Right? The gold and silver defend each other. Everything is fine. Mm -hmm. It's all going according to plan. There we go. We promote the knight. Let's see. Let's see, we got the promoted knights so that, that kind of broke up the castle a little bit. Not really. Um... Nanafun.
Then we strike the bishop. And then they put a pawn in front, and then we move the rook away. So we force them to put a pawn down. And hey, look, our rook is on a useful square. And it was, and it is no longer. But that's okay, because we got this planned out. See, this is when we do the lance drop, because they blocked their rook. All according to plan. See? It's, everything is fine. Let me just put the lance back here again. Alright, um... Let's see, do we sack the lance? Sacking the lance looks fun. Um... Well... No, because knight rook takes pawn is not smart, because the knight takes the rook. So, we're just going to take this lance, or take the bishop. All according to plan. Um, all right, so what was next on the plan? I'm trying to remember. There were just so many elements to this really exciting plan. It's hard to remember them all. All right, so then they attack our bishop, and we go fork the gold and the silver. And that's just fine. Really, everything's perfectly okay. And we're out of pieces. <laughs> oh, that's kind of a problem. Hmm. Shame that we keep running out of pieces somehow. I wonder how that happened. Huh. Not sure. <laughs> Alright, so they're threatening to take our silver. Um, Alright, so what do we do? I don't know, man. I thought I had this planned out. Alright, so we're going to block their bishop. According to plan. Maybe I should have taken this pawn. Take the token, that's fine. Oh no, it's another token. Alright, oh, we're checkmated. Whatever. It was a fun attempt. Oh, they didn't even checkmate us. Let's pretend that there's no mate. Oh, they didn't have a general. Okay, whatever. Yeah, they've won this game. Nicely played. Thanks for the game. Hmm. So what went wrong? Uh, perhaps attempting all of those things I attempted in combination maybe was not smart. Hard to say what happened. But it was exciting. Alright, well, um, yeah, maybe we won't try that combination again. We'll have to come up with a different way. I hope folks enjoyed that. Got a bit silly at the end, but, you know. Uh, as I keep random experimenting, um, I'll have to take out some of those experiments because they just don't work. But, eh. Oh well, that was exciting.